Well, back in 1968, Goddard Middle School in Littleton opened up as one of the first middle schools in the area. It was named after a man who played a big role in the space program. So this ceremonial missile was built. Well, now the future of that missile is unknown, as the school says it is in the way of major improvements. CBS 4's Mackenzie O'Keefe met with some members of the very first class who went to the school when that statue was built. Mackenzie? Yeah, Kathy, it's right here behind me, and I'm told that it may just be a piece of metal, but to many people, it's a very important piece of metal. That's why I met with some of these former students today who say they're looking at various ways that they can keep this missile from going to the scrapyard. <laughs> Sunday afternoon was a class reunion of sorts. Real far out chick. <laughs> For the very first class of students at Goddard Middle School in Littleton. 1968, yeah. But this was more than a chance to catch up. This group came together to think of ways to save this, a Nike Hercules missile that sits outside their beloved school. It needs to stay here. It's part of the school and part of the history of the school. Littleton Public Schools said as part of a 2018 bond program, the parking area in front of the school needs safety improvements for both cars and buses. And the front entry will also be reconstructed to provide better school security. But to do so, they say the missile will need to be removed. If they have to get rid of it, there's plenty of places that they can just move it on the campus. But the district says to dismantle and move it would be too expensive. Now former students are looking for a solution to keep the symbol of their school in their community. In the Martin Marietta community, that just symbolizes the whole community on how it was built and developed. The hope is that somehow they can keep it standing tall as part of their childhood history. That rocket was the big symbol. Even if it has to be moved somewhere else. I think sometimes the past just gets erased without understanding. Now, Littleton Public Schools told me that they would love to donate this missile to an organization who'd be willing to take over the cost of relocating it. But so far, no organizations have stepped forward to do so. Now, my mom actually went to this middle school. She said she remembers this uh, missile out here as well. It plays a big role for students here. And uh, a lot of people are saying they actually have a... Uh, a time capsule, they said, underneath this is the missile. So if it does have to be moved, they're really looking forward to opening that up. We're live here in Littleton. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first. Thank you, Mackenzie.